Good morning all. Uh, just wanted to start to put some positive videos out there. So today I'm going to give out some uh, meditation tips. Um, it seems that uh, a lot more people I'm working with and connected to and chatting to are um, making time for some meditation. So um, that's uh, to me a real positive of the uh, situation because I mean, it's such a powerful tool. It's made a huge difference to my life over the years. Um, but I remember when I first started, um, I was your typical bloke, you know what I mean, what a load of rubbish, it's for, you know, pansies kind of stuff. Um, but once I understood it, once I understood what I could get from it, it became a really powerful tool in my life. Um, but one of the biggest barriers for me and for most other people that are starting out, or that have been doing it for a long time, is their critical voice. Do you know what I mean? You start a guided meditation and all of a sudden your head's like, oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, why am I thinking about this? Bloody hell, I should be meditating, I'm shit at this. Oh, I might as well stop. Oh yeah, many a time, many a time. And still now, every now and then, do you know what I mean? My critical voice bumps in and says, you should be doing better at this, Mark, than you are. <clears throat> so, um, I want to talk about you becoming aware of that, yeah? So, you know, meditation is a, is a great way of freeing up our mind, giving us a bit of calm and space. Um, but it's also a great way of learning some things about us. So if you've got a critical voice within meditation, you've probably got one out of it. Yeah, so meditation is about uh, noticing these things. Yeah, unless you've been doing it years and years and years and you're sat in a cave with your legs crossed, you're gonna have thoughts. Yeah, so um, one of the powerful things about meditation is you becoming in control of your thoughts rather than the other way around. Um, so that's one of the lessons. So when all these thoughts are coming in, don't fight against them. Yeah, don't beat yourself up that you're thinking because you're going to. You're only human. Yeah, what you need to do is accept that the thoughts are there, notice it, um, give them a little embrace, and then just say, "Off you go. We'll have a look at you later," and just let it drift, drift off. It might well be followed by another thought strike way. Just do exactly the same thing, yeah? Just by consciously doing the act of, um, I'm gonna do a meditation, I'm gonna give myself some time, you're making a change, yeah? Um, but it's not just gonna happen, okay? So you need to be kinder to yourself. I think that's a big thing for meditation is it teaches us to be kind to ourselves, to our thoughts and our emotions and our behaviors. That will come up within meditation. So today's tip is don't uh, beat yourself up within meditation. Just go with it. Yeah, don't fight against your thoughts. You have thousands of them every day. Um, what meditation does is it brings you to now. Yeah, all our thoughts that bring us fear and anxiety and doubt and worry, they're always attached to where we've been or where we're going. Guaranteed fact. Yeah. So meditation is a great way of bringing yourself to now, okay? And then if that moment your thoughts are overwhelming, then notice it, yeah? Be part of it, accept it, and let them go, yeah? Does that make sense? Um, yeah, start a conversation in the, on, on um, hand in hand together about what you find barriers to your meditation. I'm really interested um, and can give tips and advice to, to help you um, deal with it. Yeah, so I will be posting this tonight. Uh, let's start a conversation about positives in the situation we're in, but also uh, barriers to meditation and what you put in place to help yourself with them. All right, thank you, matey peeps. Speak soon.